Man, we haven't even killed one battery yet. I hope that we're taking enough B-roll and footage in general. You know that Somerset's a national forest too, right? We can metal detect. I know. I, I don't want to use the machines. I'm just, I, I'd rather keep them with us and not leave them alone in the Airbnb. It's just safer here. All right, I guess that's true. How did you sleep last night? Awful. I was up looking out the window all night thinking there's another tracker we missed. There's someone here, someone watching us, someone gotta sneak in here. I mean, yeah, I honestly, I didn't sleep very well either. I'm just super paranoid that we're not gonna get this done. Like we only have three days left. Afraid I'm not taking enough B-roll. Afraid that this rain isn't gonna stop like it's supposed to today. I don't know, it, it just seems like it's not gonna happen for us. So how long to uh, Somerset? Uh, it's about a 40 minute drive to Somerset, the ghost town. Then according to the journal footage, which is blurry, it's hard to read it, but I think it says about a half mile hike to the supposed tavern. And honestly, I don't know what we're gonna do. If it wasn't Perry's tavern, we're kind of out of ideas. Yeah, we can try the library again, maybe pick Dewey's brain there. <laughs> yeah, he lets us in. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that was really weird, that whole thing, so. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> that geocache, that was awesome. I I can't believe, what are the odds in our ventures? You know, you think it's like a one-time thing, you find one out in the woods, you don't know, right? And then it's like a second time. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was there. Are you kidding me? You knew it was there? Well, every episode we need to find something, make it exciting, you know? And I knew that if I just didn't tell you, your excitement would be more genuine. So I just kind of kept it to myself, kind of wandered off into the area where I knew where it was. And the footage is great. You're so excited. We're both Wait, excited. Couldn't we have just said, oh, this geocache that's so added as like a little bonus of thing, no, you the know? The excitement of finding it uh, uh, is what made the last video, I think, because we didn't really find anything else. So yeah, I was excited. I thought it was genuine. Well, I, I won't do it again. Uh, all right, yeah, just... all right. Well, let's get started. We still got 40 minute drive to Somerset, and uh, see what we find there. All right. Here, why don't you come over here next to me? Get that in the background. But actually, <laughs> I think it's done raining. Let's let's get the raincoats off just for continuity's Holy sake. Holy smokes! We're not going to be wearing them the rest of the day. Let's just take them off and we'll start again. <laughs> let's do it one more time. Same thing. Okay. Hello and welcome. Today we find ourselves out here in the ghost town of Somerset. Somerset, Vermont was chartered in 1762 by just a few families, but being situated in prime timber territory and its proximity to the Deerfield River, it grew to over 300 by the year 1850, with the logs being their primary source of income. Behind us stands the last remaining structure, the original schoolhouse from the settlement. Yeah, there was no real town center in Somerset. There are just cellars all along this old dirt road, but this, is really interesting. Let's go take a look at it. It seems like we can actually almost go underneath it. I'm not I know, sure. I see that. Let's go take a look. Interesting. Light. You see any treasure down there? Not a very strong light. I don't know. Yeah, let's go around the side here. Wish we could look inside. All I the know. windows are boarded up. That's probably where the treasure is. Yeah. Actually. Oh look. This what one. Do you think? Can you reach it? We? Oh, it's nailed. It's uh, screwed shut. That's too bad. Ooh, this one's out. Look. Got a little twist. Yeah. No, it's still, still closed. Oh well. 
By 1937, there's only two residents remaining in the town of Somerset and was disincorporated by the state of Vermont. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like a great tourist destination, a place where you would need a tavern. But in 1850, just five miles north of here, the politician Daniel Webster gave a speech pulling in 15,000 people. Some of them would certainly need a place to stay. And according to the journal that we found in the library, there is a tavern about a half mile hike from here. So we're gonna head off, see what we can find. Hopefully it's Perry's Tavern. There's a chance. I think it's out there. All right. We're getting close. We're going to uh, strap on our hiking boots and go see if we can find this place. All right, so we're going to walk past the camera. It's gonna be a slow-mo, it's gonna be a sweet B-roll shot. We'll just walk right past. Again? Yeah, again. How much B-roll do you need? We did this like three times. <sighs> I mean, don't, let's not forget why we're here. I mean, we gotta film these kinds of shots. That's what's gonna make the show awesome. Know, I'm just a little worried about, you know, time and daylight. That was weird. Is that an elk? An elk? An elk. I mean, it can't be an elk. They were exterminated like 150 years ago here in Vermont. It was weird though. It just sounded like an elk. Is that, is that a ranger? Get out of the way. Hello. Hi. Hey, did you hear that? Like an elk? An elk? Look, I'm in a bit of a rush. Do you guys know where you need to go? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Aren't you glad we don't have metal detectors with us, Eddie? <laughs> okay, here we go. Creepy out here. Very eerie. Well, after a bit of a hike, we have arrived at an old stone foundation from a building, exactly where the journal said that there would be one. And we were hiking up this old road, and the more I look at it, it seems like it could be an old, well-traveled turnpike. It's fairly wide and deep. Seems like it had a lot of traffic back in its day. I concur. So the only way we're going to know if this is Perry's Tavern and then start our search for the treasure is if his grave is here somewhere. According to the old newspaper articles, it was up on a knoll and this area is very hilly. So we're going to have some searching to do. We're gonna split up, each take a camera, See if we can find this open grave because where we find the grave, we find the gold. That's the hope. Ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, I think that was pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Any geocaches or anything exciting coming up I should know about or? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I apologized. I'm apologizing again. I won't do that to you again, I promised. I don't know what's out here. Hopefully something. Yeah, me footage, too. But. Here, I'll give you this camera and we'll go split up and see what we can find. Okay. Wow. Look how dilapidated this, this wall is. It looks super, super old. Whoa, look at that. It's like a, I'm guessing there's a, there's a spring under there or something. Very whirly, magical looking. All right, that's even cooler. Look at that. You see it? Can you see it? What? You are not going to believe this. What? I was walking along this old stone wall and I saw something here that was kind of a weird color. Come here. Look, it's a what? bag, a old leather bag, and it sounds like there's something in it. What are you doing? Film this. We have to open this up and see what's inside. What? Really? Really what? This is the most incredible thing, a bag, a leather bag full of what sounds like coins. We'll get the camera turned back on. We're gonna film us opening this. Feels a little familiar. Maybe from like yesterday? What, the geocache? Yeah. This is exactly why I didn't tell you about the geocache, because now we have to film ourselves finding this and being all excited about it. 
This is like an incredible moment for the show. I don't think it's real. Are you implying that I just pretended to find it just now? Yeah, a little bit. You're just walking along and found the find of the century out here? Eddie, I swear, I have no idea what this is. I swear. You really don't know what's in there? I don't. Can we please just get the cameras turned back on and film us opening this? All right, all right, all right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's check it out. All right. Ready? I'm live, yeah. Lab and camera's on. You got a little red light on your screen? Yep. Okay, you ready? To open, open up, it up the mysterious leather bag found in a stone wall. Is it heavy? It's very heavy. Ready? Oh my <laughs> God. Look at that. These are Morgan silver. silver dollars. It looks like all of them are. Oh my gosh. 1888. This amazing. This one looks perfect. 1890. This, um. Wow. I got one 1921. Wow. That's, that's newer than I. Oh wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, that's way too new to be Hod's treasure. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, right? And isn't it supposed to be like three thousand dollars? Yeah, this is like thirteen or fourteen dollars. Yeah, <laughs> but Morgan silver dollars in a leather bag in a stone wall—that's like that. That could be the finale to the show if we don't actually find Hod's treasure. It's cool. It's just I, I was expecting more. I was expecting that $3,000 worth, and it's not even that old. What, what is, that? is that? That sounded close. I'm getting a phone call here. Hello? It's Dewey from the library. Yeah, sure. We're maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes away. Sure. He wants to talk to us. Let's go to the library now, but let's get these cleaned up. We're going to have to refilm us finding this anyways. I feel like we should have a little bit more excitement about this, right? Right. So we'll get these back in the bag, and you can hang on to it. Treasure's yours, right? Yeah. That was the agreement. All right, let's get out of here. this all about a guy came in here last year offered me a few hundred dollars to get rid of any books or newspapers that had to do with Oliver Perry or his old tavern in the mountains he told me if anyone came in here looking for that tavern or the treasure to contact him at this number We're really looking for kind of any indication of the location of this tavern that's up in the mountains. There's supposed to be treasure buried in a grave. Regretfully, I messaged that number. I told them you were there looking for the tavern. And I gave them a description of your vehicle. Do you know who this, who they are? I don't honestly know anything about him. Uh, he was wearing a big red jacket. Uh, he had a ring on, a blue stone. I think it was a class ring. When you were here, you found that. I recognized it. It belonged to that man. This, this was his. He had it with him. I had a look through it when I got home. Uh, halfway through, the writing gets really strange. I don't know how it ended up here. Uh, I don't know why it looks so old. I don't know how old it is. I feel like giving this book to you guys is the right thing to do. Uh, if you run into him, uh, send him my way. I'll gladly give him back his money. All right. Thank you. Oh, thanks. 
Well, we figured out who put the tracker on the vehicle. So I wonder if he knows roughly where it is, he's protecting it. Or what if he's looking for it too? Well, this is his journal. I mean, he has several possible tavern locations, so that does seem pretty likely. But Dewey was right. Halfway through this, it looks like it was written by a completely different person. It's like a cursive. I can barely read any of it. But it looks like there's only two more places to check. If we just went in order, you know, we only have two days left. It's kind of perfect. The next place is, it's called Mountain Mills. And it says it's underwater. So that seems like a good next step. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I have that number Dewey gave us. I think it'd be a good idea. Just call him up. I don't want him to have my phone number. Maybe we should just give it to the police. I don't want to get too hung up. I'd like to find the treasure first. We could hang on to it. Maybe we should just go to the police after we find the treasure. Maybe you're right. We'd probably spend a lot of time down at the station. We don't really have any time to waste. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to find the treasure. All right. Do you have that bag of coins? Yeah, I do. Why? <laughs> You hang on to it. Just don't go cashing it in because that's going to be the finale if we don't actually find Perry's Tavern and find the treasure. Okay. It, it's somewhere safe. Okay. First thing tomorrow morning, head to Mountain Mills. I think that's a good plan. And if that's not the spot, we've got one more place to check in the journal. Yeah. Just keep an eye out. Make sure yeah. this guy is uh, not following us. And Yeah. That's right. a good plan. Let's get out of here.